Olympic champion that he will have to beat Ide Hoon, who is of course world champion, so lots of quality on show. Well, who will be the leading man at the end of this one? And leading in the rankings is Ide Hoon, as I said, double world champion. Ranked number one in the world on the way into this. Well, he took up Taekwondo at three years old. Well, you might as well start early. He took it up in his dad's gym. His dad, of course, another top-class fighter. As the fans fight the urge to look at the camera there. So Taekwondo, it's fair to say, is in his blood. from the leading fighter in the world to one of the up-and-coming fighters here, certainly in this championships, Vladimir Dalakliev of Bulgaria, ranked 31 in the world. He's made it to the last 16 in the last two world championships. A nice way from the young volunteer Taekwondo fighter. They've had a great time, all of them, making us all feel very welcome, the whole Taekwondo community who's going to represent the best of the under 68 kilogram grouping. Vladimir Dalakliev will hope it's him. Top class junior, as you can see, Ide Hoon with that march through. Four hard matches to make it to this point. Dalakliev likewise. That win against Jin Yuan in the semis, or it's put him into the semis I should say. Cam Ede Hoon. Delacley have just a little bit more anxiety, understandable. As Ede Hoon just does a little bit of cleaning up on the mat. Will really he clean up with the medals at the end of this? Murad Lalam from Algeria. The man in the middle. Who's going to be the man in the final? Six minutes to decide. Into the open stance. Which means you've got the opposite foot in front, kind of like a southpaw against an orthodox in boxing. Trying to push that big headshot up the stairs there, Ide Hoon. He's got that flexibility. Delakliev. Well, he was a prodigious junior in his day. 25 now, and making the big step up into the final. Good refereeing there, Gamjon for holding the leg. So Delaklev has a one point lead, but can he hold on to Ide Hoon? Notorious for his fitness. Back leg turn the kick, almost scoring. Good work from Delaklev, his defence has been resolute so far. Unlucky not to get that punch. That's a good body shot for Ide Hoon. And two pointer again, he's got the timing for it. Slips over. A bit of a slip up there, pulls Delaclay back into it. Like chop kick there, Delaclay doesn't score. There's a nice body shot again. Ide Hood finding his range. It's all about precision, getting yourself into that distance. Back leg turn the kick again. Got that speed and power. Tight knife tries the big. Bank kick there. Well, the footwork from Ide Hood is masterful. He's come for a fight, certainly the Korean. Delakliev, well, if he didn't know he was in a fight, he knows about it now. 
end of the first. Pretty much as the form book would lead you to think, Ede Hoon. He was a silver medalist in the London Olympic Games back in 2012. Took a bronze medal in Rio as well. Still on the march for Tokyo. That's why he's ranked number one. The accuracy of the turning kicks. Even in super slow motion, they look fast. Delacle is going to have to react quickly now. Well, the Korean coach advising him to control that distance. Pamin Transky, the coach in the other corner. Last minute of encouragement from him there. There's been precious few signs of encouragement for Delakliev. He's been up against it. Nice show of respect between the two. Pleasantry's over. It's time to kick each other. And it is, of course, Ede Hood that opens up with that back leg. Confidence is high at the moment for the Korean. Can Delaglev do something? Well, he's going to have to do it quickly. He's taken another body shot. It's that ability to fire those back leg turning kicks in. Big chop kick attempt there from Delaglev. Ede Hood returns the favour. Good push kick to the face there. Attempt from Ide Hoon. Good refereeing there, letting it flow on the inside. Couldn't find that distance, it's time to break it up. They're trying to break up the momentum now, Delakliev. He's on the back foot and he's on the edge of the ring. If you step out of the green area with both feet, it is, of course, a deduction. The lack of trying to step in. There's a simple flick to the head of body, I should say, and it keeps him ahead. Not much power on that punch. Ide Hoon has a little fly look at the scoreboard. It makes pretty good viewing for Team Korea at the moment. The last 20 seconds in round two. There's a headshot there from Ide Hood. Flicks it up. And of course, it's the electronic sensors in the head guard. They have to register. They didn't on that occasion. Certainly registered with Delakliev that he's in trouble. Tries a big headshot of his own. Landed very awkwardly there. I hope he's OK. Well, more than OK for Ide Hoon. A 10-point gap. Well, we've seen the best of the women's action in the under 67 kilogram group. The men delivering a real spectacle here. Vladimir Delakliev of Bulgaria up against it. Of course, the sensors inside the socks. When they hit off the body with power, they score. When they hit off the head, like so, you would hope they would score. Ida Hood certainly thought it did. the light of Delaclay if it didn't register with the electronic sensor in the head guard. <laughs> well, it's a look of resignation at the moment from Delaclay. He really has to go for something outlandish. Activity has been spiked by Ide Hoon. Not just good at kicking, but good at defending. 
makes you fight his game. Well, we saw there the blocking that we spoke about. And then quickly turns defence into attack. Goes upstairs, takes the headshot. Avoiding the fight there. The referee saying moving back without the intent to kick. There's a chop kick though. <laughs> so close. There's a good shot there from Delaclev. Is it going to be invalidated for holding? It most certainly is. And surprise, surprise, we're going to see the video replay. Well, the contention here from Plamen Transky, the coach. Let's see if we can decipher it. saying no holding, which means the headshot should stand. Oh, the little headsets there. Communicating between the referee and the adjudication panel. The kick to the head here isn't in doubt. But is there holding on the arms? Well, it looks like it could have been on that side. Hard to tell. Tense times for the coach, even more so for Delakliev. It would give him some sort of solace and credibility here in this semi-final. Went for the headshot, landed it. But is it going to be cancelled out here? The Korean coach looks a little bit dismissive of this one. Not too happy with the delay. Of course, better to take your time and get it right than rush it and get it wrong, both in terms of video replay, which has now come back as being invalidated. The card goes away. The points are taken off, and Ide Hun has that sizable lead restored. Chop kick attempt from Delaclev. Not going down without a fight here. Punch lands high though. Idehun, a sizable gap now. Good attempted spinning kick there from Delaclev. Well, he's opening up now. And Idehun, the champion that he is, responds by doing what? Kicking him in the face. Delaclev really tried to stamp his authority all over the head of Ide Hun. It's never a good idea to go against the world champion. Fair play to him though, Delaclev. Showed his skills, showed his tenacity. Also showed too much of his head to Ide Hun. He gobbled it up and sees himself with at least one foot in the final. As we reach the dying embers of this third round here, Idehun goes for the headshot again. Vladimir Delakliev. He's tried to fight for it, he's tried to go for it. To his credit, and he will be credited with a World Championship bronze medal. But it's all over by the shouting. And that shouting comes from the Korean contingent here in Muju. The home favourite, Idehun, marches on. Vladimir Delaklev of Bulgaria. He'll get the bronze. Nice show of respect. A little chat there with the coach. Well, Korea have two goals already on the first three days. This man will be trying to make it three in a row. Always good to complete the treble. Well, he 
Ireland's understandably nervous. De Langley have coming into this one. And that trepidation was merited because the Korean Dehun kicked him in the head on plenty of occasions. Credit worthy effort for De Langley, and it will be that bronze. But Yi Dehun, with energy to spare, it would appear, he's into the final.